you will learn about water as a natural resource. Clean, fresh drinking water is essential to sustain life on the earth. In fact, the most primitive form of life, the amoeba, was first found in the oceans nearly 3.5 billion years ago. Even today, oceans support a rich variety of aquatic plants and animals. Thus, water is a vital natural resource. However, all of us consume water in huge quantities every day for drinking, washing and cooking and as solvents in the industry. Did you know in Australia of the total water usage the highest quantum of water is used for taking showers? So how is it that we haven't yet run out of water? Water keeps getting recycled from one form into another. Therefore, the total volume of water on the earth remains constant. It can neither be increased nor decreased. However, the supply of water may seem to decrease or increase at times because water is in constant cyclical motion. Water evaporates from the oceans to transform into water vapor. It falls back on land through precipitation. From land, water flows back into the oceans as runoff. Thus, water keeps getting renewed through the cycle. Therefore, it is considered a renewable natural resource. How much water do you think we have on the earth? Three-fourths of the earth's surface is covered by water. It is, therefore, aptly called the water planet. Of this water, two-thirds is in the oceans. However, the water found in oceans is salty and is therefore not suitable for us to drink. So where do we get our drinking water from? Only fresh water is used for drinking. Fresh water, however, makes up only 2.7% of the total water available on the earth. Additionally, all the fresh water resources are not easily accessible. For example, the majority of fresh water takes the form of ice sheets and glaciers in Greenland and Antarctica, which are not easily accessible to human beings. Therefore, even though such a large part of the Earth's surface is covered by water, only 1% of the fresh water can actually be used as drinking water. This is why fresh water is a very precious resource. Did you know the Dead Sea is a lake located between Israel and Jordan? The lake gets its name from the fact that its water is so salty that no plant or animal life is possible in it. What are the sources for obtaining fresh water for drinking? You find fresh water in groundwater surface water in rivers and lakes and water vapor in the atmosphere. Do you have any idea how much water human beings consume every day? It's a huge quantity. It is estimated that an average urban Indian uses about 135 liters of water every day. Of this figure, the maximum amount of water is used for flushing toilets and washing clothes. In addition, all over the world, huge amounts of water are used in production activities like agriculture, industries and generating electricity through reservoirs and dams. In 1975, the human consumption of water was 3,850 cubic kilometers per year. In 2000, this figure had gone up to 6,000 cubic kilometers a year. Thus, 
we seem to be consuming more and more water every year. What is the reason for the increase in the consumption of water? The factors responsible for the ever-growing need for water are Rising population which leads to a greater demand for food and cash crops Increasing urbanization Rise in the standard of living The result of this increased consumption is that existing water sources are either getting polluted or drying up. All of you may have suffered from water shortage at some point in life. In some areas of the world, there is such an acute shortage of water that people have to buy water to survive. Take for example, the case of Amreli city, located in Saurashtra, India. The city actually has a water market where people buy water from the neighboring villages or talukas. Most of Africa suffers from water shortage. Some of the other areas in the world suffering from water shortage are West and South Asia, parts of Western USA, Northwest Mexico, parts of South America and whole of Australia. Places that are located in drought-prone zones are the most susceptible to water scarcity. For instance, much of Rajasthan is dry or semi-arid and, as a result, faces a severe water shortage. Therefore, shortage of water may be caused due to a variation in seasonal or annual precipitation. Other reasons for water scarcity may be overuse and contamination of water resources. Did you know even the ancient Greeks were aware of the risks of water contamination? In fact, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, advised them to boil and strain water before drinking it. As mentioned earlier, water is a renewable resource. So why are we facing water shortages? Overuse and pollution have made a large portion of the available water unfit for use. For example, water is getting contaminated by the release of untreated or semi-treated sewage, agricultural chemicals and industrial effluents into water bodies. These pollutants contain toxic nitrates, metals and pesticides. These toxic chemicals are non-biodegradable. That is, they form waste that cannot be broken down by other living organisms. These chemicals can, in fact, enter human bodies through water and cause various diseases such as lead poisoning. So how can we ensure that the supply of fresh and clean drinking water is sustained? There are various steps that we can take to conserve water and prevent it from getting polluted. One way to minimize water pollution is to ensure that effluents are treated properly before being discharged into water bodies. Many industries treat the discharge to remove toxic chemicals and then send the partially treated water to the local municipal system. The other aspect of sustaining freshwater resources is conservation of water. There are a number of ways of conserving water. Let's look at some of them. Increasing the forest cover and vegetation reduces surface runoff and replenishes underground water. Surface runoff can also be prevented through the method of rainwater harvesting. Under this process, rainwater is collected from rooftops and stored for future use. Countries like China and Brazil have benefited considerably from rainwater harvesting by using it for providing even drinking water. Did you know on an average, one spell of rain for two hours is enough to save 8,000 litres of water. 
Canals used for irrigation should be properly lined so that water does not seep out. Sprinklers should be used for irrigation. They control water loss through seepage and evaporation. Lastly, there are some very dry areas where water evaporates at a much faster rate. In such areas, methods like drip or trickle irrigation should be employed. This method has already been used successfully in dry regions of the United States and Israel. You can do your own bit to conserve water as you go through your daily activities. Turn off all taps when not in use. A leaking tap can waste 1200 liters of water in a year. Another simple tip is to turn off the tap when you are brushing your teeth. 